It's time to put our mouth where our money is. We're talking about your finances. Joining us now with the money matters we need to hear is financial coach Lauren Grootman. Welcome to the show, Lauren. Thank you so much for having me on today. I'm glad to be here. Can't get around it. Money matters are important. So, Lauren, explain how our past defines our relationship with money. This is almost like being a, uh, a money psychiatrist. Take it away. Our past defines our, our financial future so much, and we have so much deep conditioning that happens around our finances from very early on in life, from watching our parents and watching you know, how other people in our life handle money that we, we don't even realize it. And so you know, this affects our relationships with our significant others. It affects how we teach our children. It even affects so deeply how we view our worth when it comes to our jobs, our income potential, you know, if we're worth making the kind of money that we're making or even worth getting a raise, those kind of things. So that's just so deeply conditioned in our psyche that if we don't start like looking at that and realizing that relationship with money, it's really hard to get ahead. So it's first recognizing, you know, how you were raised around money. What were the conversations you had and moving forward from that? I think we all lose sight of that fact. I mean, in psychiatry, you got to dig back and you have to go to your childhood, how you were brought up. That matters when it comes to, to, to money matters. So Lauren, tell us how our spending habits affect our mental state. Yeah, so actually Pew Research did a study and it said a third of Americans actually, you know, have sleepless nights when it, when it comes to their finances. People are, you know, having loneliness, depression, they're... Um, having trouble sleeping at night, anxiety. And this also, you know, affects our physical health. So people are on high blood pressure medications. They're going to the doctor more. They're paying more money out of pocket for medical expenses. They're on medications. And so, you know, stress with money is now creating more money issues because of their stress with money. And so that's like this cyclical pattern that's going on. And um, so it's really affecting our mental health, which then, you know, affects our physical health as well. You call out three types of financial relationships people can have. Yep. So explain to us these different types, I guess. The first one is the shoppers. Yeah, so, okay, so the shoppers are the obviously the people that like to shop, but it goes deeper than that, right? So what we're talking about is the people that need to shop for their mental health. So this shopper is somebody who, you know, typically thinks that going shopping is going to cure their anxiety. But then in turn, when they go shopping, then they get into, then they get more anxious and then they go shopping again and it's like a cycle again. So that's that's typically what the shopper is. And we know that shopping can release dopamine in the brain. It can become addicting. I mean, it yep. is a real issue and I can see where that could be a potential problem. So tell us about the savers, the penny pinchers. <laughs> There's a couple different kinds of savers. There's the saver that was taught to save, you know, by financially educated parents who say, you know, you should save money and all of that. But then there's also the savers who save money because they were, you know, told we can't afford things growing up. And so they almost hoard their money and they're afraid to spend it just in case there's an emergency. And so they go around anxious about life, having money in savings and not enjoying it because they're just terrified of like not being able to afford life. And then finally, you have a third group, the lost. Tell us about that. The lost, or what I like to call like the hot mess people. <laughs> These are the people that are kind of like binge and purge. Like they're, they're save, 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 save. And then all of a sudden they just like spend, spend, spend. And then they save, 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 and they spend and they don't know what they're doing. They don't have any financial education. Their anxiety's through the roof. They, they, you know, they set their new year's resolutions or whatever, you know, goal. And then they, they fail, so they just say, oh, I'm just gonna spend anyway, and they really don't know what's going on. You know, to be honest, this is probably the majority of Americans is they're just clueless. Like, we, I don't know what to do, what the right thing to do is. So yeah, those are the lost people, the, or the hot mess people, I well, like to say. Well, that's why we need experts like you.